multiply 3x plus 2 times 5x minus 7. So we're multiplying two binomials. And I'm actually going to show you two really equivalent ways of doing this. One that uh, you might hear in a classroom, and it's kind of a more of a mechanical memorizing way of doing it, which might be faster, but you really don't know what you're doing. And then there's the one where you're essentially just applying something that you already know in kind of a logical way. So I'll, I'll first do the memorizing way that you might be exposed to. And they'll, they'll use something called FOIL. FOIL, so let me write this down here, FOIL. So you could immediately see that whenever someone gives you a mnemonic to memorize, that you're doing something pretty mechanical. So FOIL literally stands for first, first outside. Let me write it this way. Let me write FOIL, FOIL. Where F, the F in FOIL stands for first. The O in FOIL stands for outside. The I stands for inside. And then the L stands for last. And the reason why I don't like these things is when you're 35 years old, you're not going to remember what FOIL stood for, and then you're not going to remember how to multiply this binomial. But let's just apply FOIL. So first says, just multiply the first terms in each of these binomials. So just multiply the 3x times the 5x. So 3x times the 5x. The outside part tells us multiply the outside term. So in this case, you have 3x on the outside, and you have negative 7 on the outside. So that is plus 3x times negative 7. The inside, the inside. Well, the inside terms here are 2 and 5x. So plus 2 times 5x. And then finally, you have the last terms. You have the 2 and the negative 7. So the last term is 2 times negative 7. 2 times negative 7. So what you're essentially doing is just making sure that you're multiplying each term by every other term here. Where what we're essentially doing is multiplying the doing the distributive property twice. We're multiplying the 3x times 5x minus 7. So 3x times 5x minus 7 is 3x times 5x plus 3x minus 7. And we're multiplying the 2 times 5x minus 7 to give us these terms. But anyway, let's just multiply this out just to get our answer. 3x times 5x, the same thing as 3 times 5 times x times x, which is the same thing as 15 x squared. You could use x to the first times x to the first. So you multiply the x's, you get x squared. 3 times 5 is 15. This term right here, 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And then you have your x right over here. And then you have this term, which is 2 times 5, which is 10 times x, so plus 10x. And then finally, you have this term here in blue, 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. And we aren't done yet. We can simplify this a little bit. We have two like terms here. We have this, let me find a new color. We have two terms with a x to the first power, or just an x term right over here. So if we have negative 21 of something, and then you add 10, or another way, if you have 10 of something and you subtract 21 of them, you're going to have negative 11 of that something. And we put the other terms here. You have 15, 15 x squared, and then you have your minus 14. And we are done. Now, I said I would show you another way to do it. So I want to show you why the distributive property can get us here without having to memorize FOIL. So the distributive property tells us that if we're, look, if we're multiplying something times an expression, you just have to multiply it times every term in the expression. So we can distribute, we can distribute the 5x onto the 3, or actually, we could, well, let me view it this way. We could distribute the 5x minus 7, this whole thing, on to the 3x plus 2. Let's, let me just change the order, since we're used to distributing something from the left. So this is the same thing as 5x minus 7 times 3x plus 2. I just swapped the two expressions. And we can distribute this whole thing times each of these terms. Now what happens if I take 5x minus 7 times 3x? Well, that's just going to be 3x times 5x minus 7. So I've just, just distributed the 5x minus 7 times 3x. And to that, I'm going to add 2 times 5x minus 7. I've just distributed the 5x minus 7 onto the 2. Now if you, now we can do distributive property again. We can distribute the 3x onto the 5x. We can distribute the 3x onto the 5x. And we can distribute the 3x onto the negative 7. We can distribute the 2 onto the 5x over here. 
And we can distribute the 2 on that negative 7. On that negative 7. Now, if we do it like this, what do we get? 3x times 5x. That's this right over here. If we do 3x times negative 7, that's this term right over here. If you do 2 times 5x, that's this term right over here. If you do 2 times negative 7, that is this term right over here. So we got the exact same result that we got with FOIL. Now, FOIL can be faster. If you just want to do it, you kind of can skip to this step. I, I, I think it's important that you know that this is how it actually works, just in case you do forget this when you're 35 or 45 years old and you're faced with multiplying binomial. You just have to remember the distributive property.